How's it going, Pumpkinheads? My name is Skeleton Steve, and welcome back to Fatal Frame. So, last time was a complete waste of everybody's time with a little adventure, including a mad mask. So, I actually went ahead and looked up some information on what I need to do with the mask. And I was completely off. Apparently, I somehow saw this mask in the entrance area? I don't remember seeing a mask in the uh, entrance area, but according to the walkthrough that I looked at, that's what I'm supposed to do. So we're going all the way back to the very beginning, all the way to the entrance. And apparently there are multiple masks in this puzzle, so this will be fun. So I was at least about a almost there when I was thinking that I had to take the mask to the lion statue in this room. I just didn't think to go look at the other rooms. So let's head down here. I'm sure I'll encounter something at some point that'll either tell me I'm going the right way or try to kill me because I've been wasting too much time. But, you know. Alright. The rope moved on its own. Why? Okay. She just freaked out by ropes now because of the whole curse thing, or... Okay, so I'm back at the entrance. Where did I see this angry mask? Also, the green mist. What is with the green mist? I'm gonna say a lot of some things fell through here. What's this? Oh, well, there we go. I don't think I actually saw it, but I saw the plaque where it was supposed to go. So here we are. Here we go. Progress is being made now. Oh. I hear a ghost. Where you be at? Ghostometer's brightness. Brightest over here. Where are you? Ah. I don't think that's it, but... Pillar with a mask hanging sh on it shows in the photo. So those must be the other masks that are part of this whole thing. I think the ghost photo I'm looking for is... Ah, right here. I only saw one really creepy ghost there. Okay. Let me make sure that wasn't an actual ghost. Hey, look, there's another mask. First, there's a shiny thing here. Oh, God, sacred water. Awesome. All right, what's this? Sad mask. Um, uh, take it. Choir sad mask. What's this? Creepy mask. What is this? Joyful mask. Okay. Take it. Now... What if... 
Like, are those masks supposed to go there, or are they swapped around? Let's find out. Oh, okay, they're not swapped around. I just stole the masks for no reason. I think I'm just supposed to take the masks back to wherever this pillar is. I would think so, considering, you know, this is where all the rituals were, and this house couldn't do all the rituals without all the things. Hey look, strong film. Hey look, that's the pillar, I think. Research scrap. Masks and their significance in the rituals. The binding ritual and the demon tag ritual are performed by the Himuro family master. The master wears a mask when he performs the ritual. This is probably to eliminate the maiden of all worldly connections. All participants of the ritual are family members, meaning the one who is sacrificed and the one who performs the sacrifice may be di directly related. My theory is that the mask serves to eliminate the maiden's attachment toward her family, gouging out the eyes of the demon, and the blind demon ritual may have similar meaning. Okay. That's a weird mask. All of these are weird. Hi. Are you going to suddenly get eyes? No, you're suddenly going to have a person behind you. Yeah, go ahead, look through the eye holes. More black and white flashbacks. the blinding mask. <laughs> awesome. I had a feeling they were going to do that. What was that? Oh, damn it. Damn it again. And I'm gonna... So apparently my... I believe it was my brother's uh, warning about sitting still so that the blind lady can't find you was complete and utter bollocks. Because she can still get me if I'm standing still. Okay. So, I'm guessing this is the pillar that I'm supposed to be dealing with. What's this? Okay. I'm guessing once I get all the masks on that pillar, I'm going to get a mask to go through here. So... If it says I need all of the masks... Actually, do I still have the... I should probably go through and grab the angry mask off that door. Because I think I still have the joyous mask on me. Because I didn't put it anywhere. Because I thought I was supposed to put it over there. 
So let's go get this one. Take it. Then we go through the door over here. Actually, I want to see what was in this. Not you. I want to see what was in this one before I do anything. Because there might be a thing that I want. Like film and herbal meds. This looks familiar. Oh, I'm back here. Okay, well now I know that that's a shortcut. Okay, so let's take the mask. Thank you. Go back this way. I can't take that mask. Can't even mess with that mask right now, actually. Let's go through this door. this mask and then go back to the pillar eh alright now they were laid out a certain way I think in the photo so let me just see Okay. Said she put. Oh, she put it in her photo. Masks on the pillar. There we go. Can I get it? We got the angry mask and the sad mask. I think it'll just tell me which one is which. Yep. Okay. And then this one goes here. Oh good, the creepy door unlocked. Or was it... Wait, was this the creepy face? No, don't take it down. I heard a door unlock somewhere. Wait, actually, am I supposed to? Probably supposed to take the happy mask and put it over here. But I heard a door unlock, so just wanna make sure. Okay. So I'm supposed to take the happy mask or take the sad I'm gonna take the sad mask first. Well, actually you know what? I'm gonna take the happy mask real quick. Yeah, yeah. The creepy face door is shut. Yes. What is in this room? There's a shiny thing on the floor. This looks like an area I haven't been. Hey, a note from Big Brother. I felt some especially powerful energy off of that woman in the white kimono. I think she's probably the one behind this mansion's curse. I have to appease her spirit somehow before anyone else falls victim to this mansion. I have to find out what exactly is keeping her drawn back to this world, and why did she let me go when she had me, I wonder. Maybe it has something to do with it. Or maybe that has something to do with it. Okay. Sounds like I'm outside. Where am I exactly?
I don't know why, but it looked like my ghostometer was gl glowing blue. Okay, exactly. Seriously, where am I? Square Garden. Hmm. Ooh, shiny. Oh, sweet nectar of the gods. Oh look, another one of those. Okay, so it's showing me where another peg is. Um... Let's continue on looking around. There's a save point down here. Hmm. And s oh, there's a shiny. It's about ready to see it didn't see any other reason for me to go down there other than a save point, but there's a shiny thing, so I'm gonna go see what that shiny thing is. It's a stone mirror that I can't even use. Is there any other shiny things down here? Nope, okay. Going back around. All right, well that was interesting and fun. Yes, go through. And then take the mask back. And put it back where I got it. Okay, door just unlocked. I'm pretty sure all of these masks were used in a ritual. Now I just need to figure out how to get back to the other side so that I can deal with that door that unlocked. Because I'm pretty sure if I take another mask, it's just going to lock the mechanism again. So... There's only two doors out of here. Well, I'll take my chances. Let's take the sad mask back. Yep, and it locked it. Well, now what? don't have any other masks hmm Am I supposed to go find that peg first? I don't think so. At least I would hope I don't have to. Because this is the door that unlocks. Something happens with this door. This door leads me back out of the... Back out of here, back to where I encountered Koji's ghost. The happy mask door takes me to the square garden. And the angry mask brings me back to the entrance. But there's no way for me to get out of here 
to see what is going on with that door. And apparently she can only examine these masks one time and determine that they're just creepy. Uh, let's see. There's got to be something. Something I'm not seeing. Because getting the pegs won't really do... Well, getting the peg will not really help me with anything. Because... I need the mask to get out to where the peg is in the first place. So there's got to be some secret way for me to get out of here after putting all the masks on the pillar. And you would think it would show up on the map, but it does not. So let me see here. Let's see, that door there is the one that was nailed shut in that hallway. Hmm. That's the angry mask door. That's the door that's supposed to unlock with all the masks on the pillar. mask back on and take that back down This is going to be a pain. Uh, let me real quick take a look at something, try to get some help here, and then I will uh, come right back. So I'll be right back. All right, so I uh, looked at a walkthrough real quick, and apparently I'm not supposed to do anything with this just yet. What I am actually supposed to do is deal with that um, plug I'm, I supposedly saw in the, photo, in the photo out here. So I need to go back out here. And the plug is actually out here. So let's go back to the center area it's right here gold carving 
And then... It also told me that there's a boss battle coming up, so I'm going to save real quick. In case something bad happens. And actually, I should probably look... Cycling through yes and no again. Okay. I should probably make sure I'm pretty stocked up on spirit stones in case I really need them. Exactly how many do I have? I have... Two. So I can stun this thing two times before I'm on my own. Awesome. All right. So let's go open the door. All right. So we wait a minute. Hey, I can actually go in there now. Cool. Alright. Anyway. Puzzle time. Let's go through the door and prepare for a boss battle. Because one of the masks I'm looking for is in here. Mask of Reflection. The one that's supposed to- hello. Don't be and you just disappeared and reappeared right next to me. Back up. I'm not about. I'm not about to waste a paralyze or any healing stuff on you. Yes, make me come near you. That's what I want. Wait, are you actually the boss? I think you are. If I keep nailing you like this, it's gonna be pretty easy for me to uh, take care of you. Gotcha. Alright. That was a thing. Uh, is there anything else in here? What's this? There's a door. Where does that take me? Oh, that takes me out here to the room with the stairs that leads out to the bamboo area. So I guess I could undo the latch. Or not. Is there anything else in here? Probably not. Okay. Didn't look like it. So I guess that was the boss. Wasn't really much of a... Oh, there's a shiny. Wasn't really much of a boss. It was a kind of a pain in the ass, but... I mean, most of these minion ghost things are more of a pain in the ass than he was. Aside from the whole controlling me to move towards something, that was kind of a dick move. Alright, so... 
die. You're weird. I really hate these mummy looking dudes. They are really weird really looking. And I just looked at my film reserves and I am running very low. So back to the door with the mask. Hi, Diamond. So I'm thinking the mask of reflection is the key to all of this because since it's since the thing said that its expression is not really an expression or it's hard to read its expression it does not follow the rules of the pegs that require certain expressions to be placed on them so let's find out so I put the happy mask back where it was supposed to go God, weird camera angle, stop messing with my movements. Yes, ha ha. Hey look, it turned sad. And then take it back. down here and this door is open now yay all right there's a shiny over here spirit stone awesome Lord knows I cannot have enough of them There is the blinding mask. Maybe there's somewhere I can hang this. Just maybe. Just just maybe. It's a definite maybe. All right. Hello ghost of Mr. Takamine. Why are you going this way? The shortcut's the other way. You want You think? Oh right, there's a reason why I can't I have to go this way. The uh I forgot that the thing about the reflection mask said that it can only turn angry uh, I took that down why is that there well then I guess, yeah. Yes, go back down the stairs, because that's what I wanted you to do. Alright. So now we go back to the room with the daintily climbing ladders. do all that fun stuff. See, look, I can make her run up these stairs. It's really, really annoying that I can't make her, you know, at least put some ass into it and climb down the ladder fast. Uh, shortcut. 
this way. We're gonna have something to do with these dolls that keep walking by. Something is gonna have to be done with them. I'm pretty sure. Through my little cubby hole. Back down here. Hi. It's because I was moving and not, you know, trying to move the camera. Actually, I should probably do a thing real quick. Since I picked up some herbal meds, use those. God damn it. Sit still for a minute. Good thing I had that stone mirror, but that was my last one. Because I only get one. <sighs> These blind lady ghosts. Apparently they're not supposed to be as hard as I make them seem. I just get my controls mixed up. So when I try to grab my camera and move the camera, I move myself and I make noise and they come to the noise. At least they're better than the upside down face people. Now what? Oh god, it's that head! You guys didn't get to see that creepy thing last time. That was the thing in the missing part that rolled up the stairs at me. Ugh. One thing weirder than ghost children is disembodied body. Is that the camera or did the house actually just shake? I think the house actually just shook. Yep, that's definitely the house. Something bad is happening. I've seen poltergeist, man. Whenever spirits get pissed, they will take an entire freaking house with them. I have three shots left with this film before I have to switch. Where are you now? Stop going in the wall, you fuck. These guys are just designed to make me waste my film. He's not. God damn it. I have to load up the weak film. So I'm not loading up the high, the good stuff just yet. I'm gonna run away from him. He's probably gonna show up right next to me somewhere. Yeah, he, he, I didn't even freaking lose him. He's right there. You could just stop teleporting around. Just a while. 
because you are messing up this photo shoot. Of course, you would be right there. Come on, man. All I'm trying to do is go daintily down some ladders. I don't need your bowl. Thank you. Not getting very many spirit points because I'm literally just taking quick pictures to keep them from being assholes. However, mask is the key to the door. Yes, I know the mask is the key to the door. Go down the ladder. Dainty, dainty thing. Slow and steady. Come on, skip a rung or something. Just jump. Alright. Now that we actually have the right mask, this isn't a waste of time. Hi, spooky kids. You know, you can put the mask on the door and just go in. Not have to deal with this weirdness. Or you could just stand there and let it happen. I'm probably going to die here. I'm dead. No? Actually, you know what? I think you deserve the good stuff. She's coming at me. I might actually just die. But, you know what? Just in case I don't, let's load up the good stuff. And I'm dead. Cool! I don't even remember where I saved that last time. I think I saved before I actually went in that room. Awesome. So, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and call this episode here. So, next time when I pick up, I will be back down there. And we can deal with the blind lady again. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a member of the Pumpkin Patch today. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you later.